Well, Stefani, the D-Day has arrived. The president of the country will be reporting back to South Africans on the promises he made in 2016. The security in and around uh, parliament uh, premises has been tightened. Uh, nothing more you can see as if now it's quite early. Uh, nothing much of activity is going around. But definitely outside the parliament, the security has been uh, tightened up. We've seen as we are making our way here, we've seen them doing their last final checks on the road. But to give a clarity and uh, to explain to us the program of the day, we will be speaking to acting parliamentary spokesperson Manelisi Walela. Thank you so much uh, for making uh, your precious and giving us a precious time, sir. Can you give us the program for the day? The program for the day, this is a big day for South Africa. A big day when the president of the country is delivering should I say, the most important uh, address to the nation, which gives the rest of the nation a report on where we're standing, where we're coming from and where we're going, particularly in 2017. Uh, the State of the Nation address, the significance of it is that it's, it's, a, it's at the pinnacle of the corporate calendar of government, the rest of the state because everybody will be converged here. The three arms, three arms of the state will be here, the judges, the legislature, as well as the executive. Top industry uh, captains, leaders of all civil society organizations, from traditional leaders to labor unions. So all of them will be here. It's a big day. We are celebrating that uh, so much has grown in terms of the stature of this day, such that uh, this year we have had, over the past five years, we've had uh, almost a 50% increase even in terms of media house representation. So we have 740 uh, journalists or media workers that are accredited to be here. So you will see during the course of the day when the fu proper function starts, uh, people will also be showcasing what they, the kind of clothes they have and the walks and etc. It's going to be an exciting day, definitely today. That one day when we get to see the serious faces really decked up for the whole media and for the whole nation. But also can you touch upon a little bit of security in and around uh, the premises here in Parliament? We know that uh, so much has been said about security. We want to put it very clearly that security that has been provided here and the steps that have been taken are intended to fit, are befitting to this function of today. Of today. And uh, even the reports that have been given yesterday uh, with regard to issues of soldiers, uh, the presiding officers have issued a statement and they are clearing that there will be no soldiers here on the premises if they are saying soldiers have been deployed they are deployed they will be somewhere else they will be on standby uh, at whatever time but what is important is that here we've got parliamentary security which is working with the south african police services they have reiterated the fact that parliament and the presiding officers to be specific hold the power to make a determination who can come into the premises or the precincts of parliament clearly uh, thank you so much for clearing that for us that was obviously you are making a clear statement on what the presidency had issued and yesterday uh, the statement that we had received from the parliament also can you just give us a brief on what time should we expect the formal program to start the formal program is starting in the afternoon and uh, so we're expecting that uh, there, everything is going to be ready for kicking off. Uh, all the procession, uh, the parade by soldiers, the 21 gun, uh, uh, gun salute. And uh, you will also see the decoration, the demonstration of the power and the, uh, of the state at play in the afternoon. So because the function, actually the, the pinnacle or the climax of the function is the actual speech or address of the president which will take place exactly at 1900 hours this evening which over the years has drawn a phenomenal amount of listenership viewership all over the country and internationally thank you so much for giving us your precious time uh, that was a parliamentary acting spokesperson manilisi walela and also just uh, giving earlier we were just joking about you know how two years back there was a whole controversy on the signal jamming which had uh, you know made headlines in all the newspapers and all the national television but this year it's quite comfortable with wi-fi access in and around uh, you know a parliamentary precinct so even mr walela was joking uh, about that as well but right now uh, there are very very uh, less uh, activities going on here, but we will certainly be giving more live updates. All ANN7 journalists will be in and around this whole area, giving our viewers uh, the full coverage for the day. Back to you.